Hello White House and welcome to White House History Wednesday. I take it for granted that I have running water available for me in my home. But even in the 1960s, about 25% of the homes did not have indoor plumbing. So washing up inside the home was much different than it is today. In the 1800s to mid 1900s, there probably would have been a wash bowl and pitcher set like this from the Tyree Springs Hotel. A set would have been in each room, probably on a piece of furniture which matched the bedroom furniture. It was called a wash stand. These stands usually were square and had a wooden or maybe even a marble top. And a small quilt cloth may have been placed behind it to keep the water from being splashed on the wall. Now to clean oneself, a bucket or a kettle of water would have been carried to each room to fill up uh, the pitcher. The pitcher of water would then be poured into the wash bowl where you would proceed to wash up with the fresh water that was in the bowl. Once the water was dirty and used, it would be thrown out. And a lot of times it would be thrown out right through the bedroom window. Most every ceramic potter in China company produced these sets. They can be plain white ironstone like the one I have here, to fancy homemade china sets, which were costly. Since the Tyree Springs Hotel would have needed several sets, the museum's 1925 set is basic white, which would have been less expensive and more feasible for the hotel to purchase multiples. I don't know about you, but I'm glad all I have to do is turn a knob for clean running water that comes out of a faucet into my house and leaves through the drain.